Hey there, I'd like to share uh, one of my favorite Canadian bands from the 70s, Thunder Mug. They were never really too well known out west here in Alberta. Uh, they're from London, Ontario. Uh, this is their first album called Strikes. I used to have a US pressing of this that uh, looked the same, but it featured songs off this album, Strikes, and their second album, Orbit. But this is the Canadian pressing right here. I can just show you the lineup quickly. We had uh, Bill Durst on guitar, lead vocals Joe DeAngelis, uh, bass Jim Corbett, and drums Ed Francis. Now, you notice Terry Brown uh, was producing here. Terry, of course, worked with Rush and uh, many other Canadian bands as well. I think he was from the UK originally, but came to Canada and uh, worked mostly out of Canada, Toronto. Toronto sounds like you work with Max Webster as well, numerous other bands. So there's a shot of the band. And I bought all these albums brand new in the late 70s. They were at that point in a clearance bin. And uh, sadly, I think these guys are right up there with any of the, the big names Canada had to offer. This is something really interesting and I found this in a used record store in Calgary about 30 years ago. It's a Dutch pressing, I believe, <coughs> on Areola of the same album. And, uh, I'm not even sure if the band members are aware that this exists. But that's what I'm playing right now. It really has nice sonics. Better better sound than the um, Axe pressings. Yeah, Harlem, Holland. Uh, this is their second album, Orbit, and I love the die cut cover on this, just the, uh, the design on this LP with that flap. A few years back I uploaded some videos to YouTube featuring vinyl rips and uh, some imagery of my, uh, my Thundermug albums. You can see the little delete hole in each of these. They were winners. This is a really cool record. I've seen that Bill has a few things. Bill Durst has a few videos on YouTube. He's still performing. Ed Pranskis, uh, I see him on there. He's left a few comments on my videos maybe five years ago, four years ago. He's a great drummer. Awesome drummer. Bill Durst is an outstanding guitarist. The whole band was super tight. Uh, this is their third album, Thundermug Tada. This is the Canadian pressing on Axe. More great hard rock on this one. Awesome. And I'll show you the US pressing here in a minute. There's the lineup. Big City is awesome. Probably my favorite cut off that all. And Janine. The opening songs from Sides 1 and 2 there. So this is the same album, ta-da, this is a U.S. pressing, slightly different track, running order. This is the U.S. one. On Axe. Maybe this is a Canadian pressing, it says here Axe Limited. Probably a reissue. Maybe came out a year later with alternate cover art. I always thought it was an American issue, but uh, I have seen the U.S. pressing that looks like this. I'd have to delve into that further by pulling it out and looking at the label to be certain. But, uh... Yeah, what a great band. Once you have a look at that Areola label spinning here, I love this part of the song. Kind of like a Ted Nugent thing. But at this point in time, Ted was with the Amboy Dukes. Right on, Bill. I love that. Hello, I'm Corbin. Please let me come in. I'm your local family doctor. When I say you're looking fit, I've got something here for you that will come up with disease. No matter. Of a rattlesnake, so please roll up your sleeve. What would you do? 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 What would you do?
videos on YouTube. I'm sure there's many, many more since I uploaded mine with better audio quality than this. This is just through the little handheld uh, job I'm using here with the mic. Alright, that's enough Thunder Mode. Ciao.